Boom, can you please take a seat quickly so we can get started? Thank you. And it's the same thing I say to you in business, that if you're going to go out there open to take your business idea from here to here, it's about belief. The next thing is your SWATs. Yeah. It's to assess your strengths and your weaknesses. Yeah. I don't know, your strength would be, like my strength was my music. That was my strength. That was the thing that I know the most. If I wanted to learn about business, I would say that music was one thing that I would say I wouldn't need to know anything. Because I think I, I pretty much know what I, I want to know about music. So that is my strength. I don't know what your strengths are, but it is best to concentrate on that. Find out what it is. Not forgetting the original people that brought my source before I was rich and famous and fabulous. So I'm still there, shopping at 7.30 in the morning, Electric Avenue, all these places in Brixton Market, Buying the same thing, my scotch bonnet peppers, my coriander, everything that goes into my sauce, but now I buy a little bit more. Because I have my restaurant in Battersea. So I don't rest on my laurels. I still do it. As a matter of fact, the more fabulous and fantastic you get, is the more harder the work becomes. Because I can tell you before that I never used to get up at 7.30, or like 11.30. But existing customers are so important. These are the people, these are my core customers. The people that brought my sources before Dragon's Den. These are the people that I really respect. Because they were the ones that kept me going. At the outset of the race, remember the first rule. The hardest part of the race is the start. These people, your customers, your initial customers, you've got to look after them. How do you do that? I remember, from experience, I went to a people called um, GLE One London. They were part of um, um, the mayor's city. And the mayor set up to sort of give small businesses startup funds. And the most funniest story is that one of the rules that you have with the GLE One London is that you have to get a refusal letter from the bank before you will get this money. Yes. So you can imagine me, who don't leave our rules, going into Barclays Bank and saying to the manager in there, a lot of mercy, sir. I don't really want your money in us, sir. I'm here for a refusal letter. The man said, yes, here it is, come. Why go two years? Yes! I refused a letter. I got my refusal letter from Barclays Bank, which they were waiting to give me. I went back to GLE one London. I said, look, Sita, here is my sauce. Everything is fabulous. Could I have a loan, sir? I got my loan of a thousand pounds. Yeah. Next place I wanted to get some money is for my family. Banks don't lend you money unless you have money. You gotta have money in the bank first. You know, any Jamaicans here know the old saying that says you have to have money to make money. Oh, it's gone. 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 Oh, it's gone.